So I appreciate also that you're here and interested and willing to listen to me talk and find out what is it about Scientology and its place in the American religious landscape, in particular, particularly the Western culture. I've been a member of the church for 39 years, so I'm pretty familiar with Scientology and can answer many of your questions. <laughs> so we tell people to just read a book and find out for themselves. But we're expanding internationally. We've got over 11,000 churches, missions, and groups around the world. Some of our largest churches are in the US, Russia, surprisingly, Italy, and South Africa. We're currently on a pro, and we're in 167 nations. Those are just the ones that have the biggest conglomerations of Scientologists. But we actually have, have churches, missions, or groups in 67 nations. We're currently on a program to buy, refurbish, and open new large churches because, throughout the world, because of the demand for Scientology and the increased interest in the Scientology religion. So that's a whole campaign that we've been doing. The Ideal Org program was put out to us uh, in management as the, the handling to handle everything in regards to the churches and getting them to expand and be prosperous and be wonderful places that we all dreamed that they could be and we all wanted them to be. That was it. Nothing really happened after that. There were no uh, big efforts made to train the staff to get new people in. It was promised earlier that this was going to be all about getting new people in and bringing the word of Scientology to the world. But when the big building opened, nothing happened. The compulsion to lie seems extraordinary with the church. And that is because of the craving for good public relations. Maybe the world will be impressed if they squawk we have 11,000 churches and we're in 167 countries. It's, it's, it's lies. We uh, don't go out and collect money from anyone except our members. And we, we do a lot of, of services that are free and open to the public, and anyone can come into any church and find out at any time. But some of the more advanced courses, we do have donations that we ask for our members to, to donate. They either donate money or they contribute some kind of work for the church in exchange, and that is how we fund the churches. Okay. So, again, you can take or reject anything in Scientology, and you don't have to think beyond that L. Ron Hubbard's a heck of a guy. That's totally fine. But for those of us who do believe, we do donate to the church, um, as I think probably all of you donate to your churches. It's not uh, a way of getting money. It's a way of supporting the church. And people who want to donate a lot do, and people who can't afford to donate very much don't donate very much or don't donate at all, or they try to contribute in other ways uh, if they're not financially able to, to help the church. Um, but like any other institution or, or church, we, we have to pay the electric bill too. So, of course, there, there, there are donations. Thank you. she talks about we give free services you don't get nothing in the church of scientology without paying hard cash you can't step into a church for a tour without them trying to sell you a book and passionately getting you to 
buy a DVD. You, you've got to give them some money. Cash is never more king than in the church. Now here's another lie of Sylvia. Those that want to donate, donate. And those that don't want to donate, don't donate. The Church of Scientology sends out parties of gangs. Four people will ring your doorbell at midnight asking for money. They, they literally will come to your home and get you into two-hour marathon sessions on why the money is needed now, now, now. This lady would call me and she says, I am calling from the office of the vice president. He needs to meet with you. He has a very important key confidential briefing to give you. You have been selected as one of the few who are ready to get this briefing, who are qualified to get this briefing. The briefing was Germany, suppressive government, their stopping Scientologists, they made it illegal to be a Scientologist, they're kicking um, kids out of school for being a, uh, the sons or daughters of Scientologists, you know, the briefing lasted like 15-20 minutes and then right after that it's like, so what we need you to do is buy 16 sets of basics and lectures. I was flabbergasted. I was like, really? Again? The Vice President of the Church of Scientology International is trying to sell me basics. I was so disgusted. One of the more really obnoxious things, but this is very current, so I'm going to say it, is the way the Church of Scientology hits up on its public because something bad is happening in the world. Now, Israel and Gaza, Israel and the Palestinians just fled up. And there it is. Church of Scientology emails. Give us money for Way to Happiness booklets to calm down the Middle East. 20 years ago, I was giving money just to get them off the phone give a visa, give an American Express, because they were calling me, oh, did, you, did, you, did, you, did you see this flare-up, this Israeli-Palestine flare-up? Give us money, and, and, and the way to happiness will calm it all down. And I would give $500 here, $300, whatever. 20 years later, it is catastrophic. The war hasn't ever been worse. Rockets flying, young children again. And the Church of Scientology makes this a business. They take a 30 second, uh, they take a 30 cent booklet. They have their own printing press. This booklet may cost 30 cents. And they sell a little bundle for $25. The markup is 400, 500. But if they really were a church wanting to give the, out the word and the message, they could give out Way to Happiness booklets from now till the cows come home because they, they print them. But they want money. They want money for It's a money scam. And the reason I'm bringing this up is I find it obnoxious and heinous that 20 years ago I bought into this Give Money Now because the Israeli and how was where I solved the war in the Middle East. And 20 years later, there's no war solved. And the church wants, with its octopus tentacles, to grab money from you on the pretext of solving the war in the Middle East.